Well, we could start right with, uh... Alright, we want to start over? Alright, here we go. And five, four, three, two, one. Alright, Anthony, a.k.a. Antonio Whispers. What's up? I think, uh, I think we've got something to celebrate today. The World Series? Well, the fact that you are, Anthony Manzella personally is a world champion. How is that? Because you supported the team, and you're responsible, part responsible for their victory. Would you agree? Yes, because I've supported them since I was five years old. All right, well, let's go Giants. Thank you for a great season. 2010 World Series champions. Anthony was there only at game one or two one. of the World Series. But, and Anthony wanted them to lose so they can go to game six I, or seven. I really wanted to go to another home game, but I, they didn't get that far, unfortunately. All right. So we got who's, who's playing sports this weekend for Cal? Football is playing Washington State up in Pullman at, yeah. at the Palouse. And um, um, volleyball is playing USC and UCLA this weekend. I believe volleyball has one of their highest rankings of all time. Number two. Number two in the country. And their only loss this year is to USC, so it's going to be a revenge match. And, and are they playing here? Yeah. On campus. If you guys haven't noticed, me and Antonio Whispers are sitting here yeah. on lovely Berkeley campus. we got trees in the background. We've got a nice background music of a band playing. we got seagulls flying around. Oh, man, it got oh. loud. Holy crap. Um... USF hoop starts today. Oh boy, we don't we don't really want to know about all that. And um, um, I went to the first Cal women's basketball game last night. And how was that? It was an exhibition game, but they won pretty pretty well. And um, Rama and Jai had a double double on her birthday. All right, um, good job for Rama, fifth year senior, mm-hmm. coming back from uh, ACL injury. Uh-huh. She had 11 points and 11 rebounds, and um, Demetra Stallworth had 18 points. And six or eight rebounds and Talia Caldwell came one point short of a double-double. She had nine points and 11 rebounds. uh, All right. That's excellent. Excellent uh, reporting. And um, one of my buddies from the ballpark who works there was in the Giants parade. All right. Is that all we got for sports? And uh, for all you Sacred Heart or SI fans out there, the Bruce Mahoney football game is tonight. Oh, boy. Anthony will be there wearing I'm, red I'm, and blue. I'm not going to be there, but I'll have to plead the fifth because I don't know who to root for in, the, in that situation. Well, if SI wins, would you be happy? I'd be happy, but I have a soft spot for Sacred Heart, so I know somebody has to win, but I'm going to have to plead the fifth on that one. All right. Good thing we're not in a quarter loss. And uh, men's tennis has a couple of tournaments coming up, and women's golf has a USC tournament. And... Um, Men's tennis, men's and women's tennis are going to be playing the uh, the USTA ITA indoor championships, and a couple of other guys from the men's team are playing in the St. Mary's Invitational over in Moraga. All right. And um, the Cal men's basketball team has their first couple of games next week against uh, Sonoma State, and um, I think I want to say Cal State Northridge, but I'm not sure. And the women, their home opener for opening weekend is against uh, Rutgers and the St. Mary's Gales. All right, man. That's so pretty good. I'll pretty probably, good. I'll probably get an early WCC preview because I'm going to go see USF this weekend, and then I'll probably go and see Cal and St. Mary's when Cal has their opening weekend. I like that about you. You're a sports fan for life. Mm-hmm. Well, you can thank my grandpa for that one. Now, you know I was out there at the parade. Mm-hmm. I saw your Facebook page, by the way. I was. Did you, did you like it? Did you see the pictures and the celebration? I, yeah, I say I did. Well, it's too bad you couldn't join me. Well, I've been studying for midterms nonstop, so I had a good excuse. Well, I'd like to know, what do you think of the potential sentencing of Johan Meserly? <laughs> Let's not go there in the sports report, shall oh, we? Oh, yeah. No, let's keep the politics out of the sports mm-hmm. report. Right, Anthony? Mm-hmm. Well, I thought that was another successful Friday corner from Antonio Whispers. Mm-hmm. You got anything? any shouts out? Um, I guess I should say shout outs. To What's jo- the plural of shout out? <laughs> to uh, Joe Hallisey 
and uh, my buddy Brian Kearney, who was at the Giants Parade, because he's a ballpark employee. All right, Joe Halsey, what's up? What's going on? Great to see you again. And uh, you know, Joe Halsey knows inside scoop that you're in both. Oh. The Italian and the Irish Mafia. That's not true. I'm, I keep telling you that's not true, but you don't want to believe me. All right, all right. I guess I'll have to believe you one of these days. And um, hopefully, um, hopefully USF does well on their first their first weekend of play. All right, that's a good shout out for USF, the University of San Francisco. I think the women play tonight and the men play on I think Sunday. What are the chances the 49ers win a Super Bowl this year? I just want to see them win the division first, and then we can talk about the Super Bowl. All right, all right. That's step by step, right? Baby steps. I like that. Because their division is so bad, I'm surprised they're not on top of it. All right. Well, I think we'll see you next week. What do you think? Yeah, and um, water. I forgot to add that water polo be loyal to not last night, 11 to 2. Wow, 11 to 2. That's called a trouncing. And, um, or in water polo, it's called a drowning. I probably mentioned this, but um, the men's and women's tennis teams are going to be in New York for the USTA ITA championships indoors at the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center, which happens to be the home of the US Open. All right, it's pretty good. It's pretty. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome event, awesome experience for the Cal athletes. And if you're in Moraga, come and check out the St. Mary's Classic over in Moraga. If you're, if you're a tennis fan and you're in Moraga for the weekend. Now, it's potentially going to rain on Sunday, so just got to let everybody know, bring your umbrellas. Okay. Don't get, don't get, don't go out without getting some extra gear on. I think the one thing I'm scared of when it comes to Cal and USF is both of their men's basketball teams are really young this year, so. All right. Well, I guess it's time to go study for some midterms. Mm-hmm. And um, go Irish in the Bruce Mahoney game today. What the? Oh boy, we're gonna have to block that out. <laughs> I told you I don't know who to root for in that. In that you just told me who you're rooting for. <laughs> you said go Irish. <laughs> That's because I'm really good friends with the Sorte Yarnway and uh, that Summers Gavin. So. Uh, what about Chris Petrini? And him and you. All right. Well, I guess I'm outnumbered three to one. <laughs> well. They're all good guys, but I just don't know who to root for when it comes to Bruce Mahoney time of year. Okay, well, your prediction. you got to say it. <laughs> it's okay. It, it doesn't matter who Do you're... Do I have su- to? Who, it doesn't matter who you're supporting. Mm-hmm. I just want to know your prediction. It'd be like, you know, it's like saying, okay, the New York Yankees versus, you know, the Toronto Blue Jays. You're going to say, the Yankees are going to win. I might want the Blue Jays, though. Mm. You know, so let's hear who you think's going to win, regardless of who you want to win. For the Bruce Mahoney game? Yeah. I just want to see a good game because I I know people that went to both schools. So if SI wins, I'll be happy. But then again, if Sacred Heart wins, I'll be happy too. On a scale of one to ten, if SI wins, how happy will you be? Hmm. That's a really hard question. How about a five? <laughs> Maybe if Joe Hallisey does the game, I'll be happy. But uh, what if SH wins? How on a scale of one to ten, what how happy would you be? I'll be really happy because I'll be thinking about my buddy Brian Kearney who's going to be going to the game. All right, so you want SH to win. Mm-hmm. All right, it's 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 on record. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. All right, well. I just know people that went to both schools. Is that a good enough excuse? Well, I'll, excuse? I'll send this to all my SI friends. Is that, oh, no. Is that a good enough excuse? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go Irish. Yeah. Go, go Wildcats. Go Irish slash Wildcats, maybe. Go Wildcats? Oh, okay. Go Irish Cats? Mm-hmm. I go wild rich. <laughs> You're just making stuff up now, aren't you? Pretty much. All right, we'll end our Friday corner. Great job. Mm-hmm. Nine minutes into it. Mm-hmm. You're awesome. Mm-hmm. It's great seeing you again. Hopefully, Cal and USF will have an awesome weekend on the basketball court. All right. Thanks for having a band come to your Friday Corner. That was very awesome of you to invite them to play. I had nothing to do with it. But oh, you're supposed to take credit for it. All right, we'll see you. See you, Johnny Resnick. Oh, leave Johnny Resnick alone.